Hi, this is a basic tutorial on how to do digital painting on GIMP. I'll just share the screen. Okay, so what happens is uh, you've already set up your Wacom, um, and that's in another video. And then what you're doing is you are doing a sketch, just in a sketchbook, just with pencil. Um, most artists prefer doing this rather than sketching it straight onto um, GIMP just because it's fast and easy you can travel anywhere you don't have to set up on the computer and so the first thing that we do is we take a photo of that on our phone and then we um, email it to ourselves so uh, here's one that i um, have done so this is a uh, page of drawings and here it is here now often it will end up um, kind of nasty like this the light might be wrong uh, this is technically a white balance it's come out a little bit blue because i took it on the inside and so this is our sketches that we've done and we're going to do uh, digital painting over the top so the first thing we do is we have to change all this so we go up to colors brightness contrast and this is exactly like your tv so you can uh, crank up the brightness you just drag these around and we get it so it's a little bit whiter looks a little bit better uh, but it's not too strange and burnt out all right cool so then you go okay and there's our starting point there all right so we're um, with gimp just like photoshop it has lots of different layers so the thing is you go to this little button over here this little looks like a little play button and layers menu and then over that and then you've got a new layer so we're going to have a new layer coming up there and there's our new layer and we'll be doing our new layer on top so we are going to the paintbrush i've already got it set for the dynamics of uh, pressure opacity which means if i press really lightly it'll come out really light and if i press really dark it'll come out dark now we've got all our brushes up here i'm just going to go for a normal uh, soft round brush uh, you can change all those settings but there are all these presets up here as well Okay, so the next thing is we're miles away from here. You've got the magnifying glass, so we can click on here. I'm going to zoom in. I just click till I get it all nice and close and how I want, and then we're ready to go. So back to the paintbrush. Now we're going to choose some colors to color this guy up, and we're going to have him like a brown rat. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, another page open that's going to be our, like a palette. So what I'm going to do is first uh, grab a color. So um, browns and the oranges so i'm going to pick a color there and i'm going to go okay and that's my color there and then what i'm going to do is go file new i'm just going to make a new page i like the templates so i go up to a4 and i go okay and here's my new one so i'm going to turn for this one pressure opacity off so i'm just going to do it where is the dynamics off and so now when I paint my paintbrush, it's just going to go splat and it's going to put out that brown. So that's a mid brown and I'm just going to go splat in the middle there. I'm then going to double click on this and I'm going to go lighter. And here's my lighter colors and I'm going to go all the way up into kind of yellowy colors. And so here is all my dynamic different colors that I'm going to use. And whenever I'm going to go, and so now that was the mid and I'm just going to go down, down. And so whenever I'm going to go, um, if you choose a color, I'm not, he's not going to get all rainbow colored. He's going to actually use this palette. So I'll show you how that works. I've got my uh, pick tool here and I can actually go over the top of these and I just click on it and it will fill it in there. I've actually got the chance of actually having two colors in here. So let's have a dark color and let's have a nice light color so i've got my two colors here i can swap backwards and forwards between those and up here i've got my um two different pictures so i can go swap backwards and forwards whenever i need a new color use the pick tool pick up the color it's there and then i can paint it over my guy cool so let's use the bright lightest color first remember to put the dynamics back on so here i go going back down to pressure opacity all right so it's all ready to go here's my brush and I'm going to now working on that new layer. So my wrap drawings underneath, and I'm quite literally going to, actually I'll do the dark first. I'm gonna put in some shadows and I'm going right over the top, coloring in my guy, putting some shadows, pressing light to start off with, getting harder if I want to. Now, if you say make a horrible mistake, it was going so, so well, and then it all started going horribly wrong, then what you can do is you can go up and um, under window, 
and you can go to these dockable di dialogues and you can actually um, grab one of these things. So I've already hit undo history and it pops it over here. So here's my undo history over here, this little backwards arrow. And here, here I go backwards in time and uh, fix up all the things I don't see that started to turn there. And every time I lift my pen off uh, when I was painting, it gives me another one to do. So carry on. So uh, let's go back to my paintbrush. Uh, this is the normal layers that's here with all the options. That's what that little one there means. Uh, so let's get some lighter color in here and we start painting in. So the, the um, reason I'm pressing nice and light is that it will come out um, lightly. So I'll be coloring it, um, but you still got your pencil there um, marking up where, where you're going. And then I can go in there and I can make things darker or lighter as I need. Some people then go over the smudge and just smudging in these colors. There's all these different things you can do to get your picture looking like how you want. I will stop sharing and there you go.